cars behind him, Raikkonen right in second place in the Lotus car. Tires that are done. Obviously, we're on fresh options, no need to look after the tires. You best to get past all these cars. Yeah, it's a good thing. Hey, what's going to happen? As I was saying, uh, Raikkonen's tyres have got a lot of advantage on them. Sitil's tyres and Ricardo's. The three cars in front of Mark Webber, who's currently in fifth place, have all got quite a lot of advantage on those tyres. So, can Webber work his way through into potentially second place? Third place surely is on the cards, getting past Ricardo and Sitil. But the laps are still ticking away behind the safety car, so he's not going to have that long to do it, David. No, running out of time. But now cars now are getting pretty light in the, uh, what, uh, about 16, 18 or so kilos of fuel, depending on your team. So we still going to be racing enough for them to push. Both McLarens are in the top 10. Perez ahead of Button. They're running in um, six and seven places. So once again, the two McLarens could end up racing one another. Alonso has lost out a little bit, but he is on a fresh set of tyres, so he's going to be one to watch because he's now in eighth place ahead of Hamilton in the queue. But Alonso with some fresh tyres on board. He's also got the, the, the softer of the two compounds, the medium tyre. And Alonso is one who can really benefit from this. He's second in the world championship. Vettel is out of this race, but if he doesn't make some progress, then Kimi Räikkönen could reclaim.